An APD sergeant is off the job tonight for 15 days after grabbing the neck and yelling obscenities at a combative suspect who spat at him. It's the latest in a number of disciplinary actions where officers lost their cool. But with less uncommitted time on the job and officers going from call to call, we're hearing solutions in our growing city of few. Put your hands where I can see them. Please don't move. Before they ever take a call, police recruits face tense training designed to recreate unexpected moments. March 8th, APD Sergeant Kenneth Connor ran into one of those moments after a burglary call at this liquor store on West Dasney Lane. The disciplinary report says after the suspect was detained and put into the back of a patrol car, he became combative, at one point even kicking at the doors. Officers brought him back out and hobbled his legs, basically tying them behind him like this. He was put into the back of the patrol car once again, and just as Sergeant Connor was strapping him in, he spat at him. The sergeant's response, quote, he grabbed the suspect's neck, throat, and chin area and yelled obscenities at him, unquote. As Sergeant Connor would probably tell his own troops that uh, the, that is an excellent example of what not to do. It's similar to a 2012 arrest involving this officer. After he was spat on, he received five days suspension for banging a suspect's head on the patrol car hood. And this report that shows another sergeant broke APD policy this year when he used his foot to move a suspect. He received 60 days suspension. In the case of Sergeant Kenneth Connor, his lieutenant says he was immediately apologetic. We will make mistakes. It, it's here again. It's hard to separate the robot from the human. Austin's Police Association points out officers' uncommitted time is shrinking. These are very stressful times when you're going from call to call to call nothing but negativity, no downtime to decompress, you're going to see these things happen. Now, relief we've learned today is on the horizon. Later this month, APD is encouraging its officers to attend a one-day course. It's called Emotional Survival for Law Enforcement. It's a bid to put a dose of humor and perspective into their stressful jobs. Going in depth for you on this now, Austin Police put out an annual report into the use of force. The latest, the 2011 Response to Resistance Report, found that year there were 3,030 reports of use of force. 1,863 people were subjected to some level of police force in Austin. To put that, though, into context, the total number of arrests in 2011 was 58,538. That meant the total number of response to resistance reports, 3.2% of all calls.